Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going about practical clinical refraction. So what is practical clinical refraction? We are going to discuss it today. So clinical refraction, the neutralization of individuals refractive error using a variety of tests that determines the lens power that sharply focuses images on the retina. So what is the uh, clinical refraction? It is the procedure in which there is the neutralization of individual refractive error. First of all, we determine the refractive error. Patient ki eye may koi refractive error induce hai. For example, myopia hai, uh, uh, astigmatism hai, hyperopia hai. So, we will have a clinical refraction through the procedure which we treat in refractive errors and neutralize and the image is a distorted image Blurvian, which is astigmatism in astigmatism and two three focal points we focus sharply on the retina the determination of refractive state of an eye it determines the refractive state. State either patient is ametropia uh, under ametropia or it is an ametropic patient. Ametropia means that patient has no refractive error. Uh, it is a normal eye or patient is normal. Ametropia means that there is an uh, refractive there is a refractive uh, error in the patient's eye. It can be either myopia, hypermetropia, or the uh, astigmatism. So, there are two types of clinical refraction. One is objective and other is subjective refraction. So, objective already know, uh, indicates that there is something related to object where, where an instrument do all the work and it is not uh, necessary or there is no need for the patient active participation while subjective means subject so the subject is our patient so over here we need the active participation of the patient in objective refraction the result is not based totally on, on the patient it is totally on the instrument under which it we are performing and uh, in subjective refraction patient is responsible for the endpoint like all the results definitely depends on the patient uh, patient uh, response or the after the patient's active participation we go, get to know what is the effective status of an eye so objective may have patient ki zarurat nahi hai ke wo hume kuch batai jabke subjective may have patient ki active participation chahi hoti hai so ye hamare paas two type of clinical refraction hai So objective reflection kya hoti hai? The refractive error of patient is determined without the contribution of the patient. Patient is not involved. Or is mein humay paas patient nahi chahiye hota. Hume, hume matlab patient ko bithana hai, uski history vagaira to leni hai. Lekin patient ka hume active response nahi chahiye. Ke patient bole ya hume kuch pata hai. Hum kisi agar to wo disabled patient hai, hum uska easily kar sakte hain. Bichon ka kar sakte hain. Unki history uske relative se leka. Right? So, this is the objective reflection. Now, the subjective reflection is another type of clinical reflection. What is the technique used to determine the best corrective real equity? We determine best corrective real equity in the patient. Best corrective real equity patient ki determine karte hai ki iski jo sabse zyada jo end level hai correction ka is patient ki itni real equity hai isse zyada correct nahi ho sakti it is patient dependent it depends on the patient all the patient response is respond is needed patient ke bagair hum subjective reflection perform nahi kar sakte patient should be active patient should be uh, give an active response ठीक है इसमें ये नहीं है कि पेशेंट अगर बोल नहीं सकता या उसको समझ नहीं आ रही तो अंटिल और अनलेस वो समझ नहीं जाता आपका प्रोसीजर आप क्या परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं और वो सही तरीके से आपको रिस्पॉन्ड नहीं करता तब तक ये करेक्ट रिजल्ट्स uh, नहीं आपको मिलेंगे द कंप्लीट कैलकुलेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन द पेशेंट रिस्पॉन्ड तो वही बात है कि जब तक पेशेंट एक्टिव नहीं है यू विल नॉट गेट द रिस्पॉन्ड अंटिल एंड अनलेस द पेशेंट इज एक्टिव 
you have to um, tell him the procedure and you want him to tell you accurately all the results what he is seeing and what are the results so this is under the subjective reflection so this was all about practical clinical reflection it's two types and what are these two types further details are in another video for more queries you can comment in the comment section thank you